Yeah. 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 First of all, you ladies, fantastic job on the individual fan base. I am a comic fan so this is fantastic. What was your initial reaction when you were first cast for these roles? And then as time went on, that you could find that you could actually develop characters in mind. I mean, I was excited to be on the show. Obviously, Greg Berlanti has been making incredible television for a long time, so to get to work in his world has been fantastic, and I was excited. To, and it's been nice to grow with the characters. You know, we've made 80 something episodes of the show, and to see how the different characters have changed and evolved over the years is a pretty cool thing to see. Yeah, I didn't know what I was getting into, and at the time, like, there was no universe Yeah, I don't yet. know how you actually know what you're getting into. Yeah, so it was um, more exciting even than getting the role was a, a part of the ride of, like, kind of what it turned into. Then it was like, now there's all these other shows, and you're all the shows, and then you just die and come back, and then it's, yeah. Excitement, I mean... Um, I think it's a dream come true for any young actor trying to, you know, make their mark in the business. I mean, this is, like you said, what Greg Berlanti has created is, a, is almost like a dynasty. Mm -hmm. And to be a part of that uh, is a huge thing. So, I mean, whatever happens with the show, I'm forever grateful that I got to be even a small, small part of such a huge, huge universe. Yeah. So, in terms of leadership for you ladies, did you know that your character was going to be in charge of the team from the get-go, or was it sort of an organic thing that um, they sort of wrote in for you guys as they saw you in the team? I don't think they, the plan was ever to have me be in charge of the team, so I didn't know about it. Um, and I think when it was second season and it kind of, when I stepped into that role, it didn't... I was like, oh yeah, well we'll see how long this lasts, you know. <laughs> and then, and then it stopped, and it, and I kind of realized more uh, how important that is. I mean, besides me, but just more women in power, and I think uh, that's something I really hope to see. And I think it's a huge would solve so many problems um, in all levels, which I think we need to make. Them work someplace where you can also balance that family and have paternity leave and make it a situation where women can have children and still be able to return to the workforce. We need more women in charge. That's the only way that we're going to be able to pave the way for other women because we can understand their issues because we have somebody who's voice and concerns. Oh. No, 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 I think that's <laughs> There haven't been a lot of major female villains in the Arrowverse. Is that something that you guys have, have like, do you talk about that at all? Or is that something yeah, like absolutely. absolutely. I mean, my pitch at one point was, and this is totally selfish, but like, was why not let Killer Frost be bad? Like, let her be the big bad of the year. For many reasons, I do think it would be great to have a female villain on the Flash more consistent basis, you know. Yes. I was pitching that last night to our own <laughs> filming. So last night, maybe night four, uh, <laughs> to one of our producers, and I was like, we need, I wanted an older female villain. Yes. Somebody who's not like, I'm going to cut off your head, <laughs> but like an, an older, very like established, uh, I think, uh, creative. Do you remember Tilda Swinton and that snow, whatever, the train thing? Uh, snow Piercer. Snow Piercer. Yeah. 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 Right? But yeah. like, she was... <laughs> yeah, she's great. But like, something like that. <laughs> yeah. All right, to piggyback on that, do you have an actress in mind who would play the older woman villainous role from the three of you? Who do you have in mind to play that role? <laughs> yeah, she did a great job. I selfishly have always, this is just a weird desire on my part. I've always wanted Felicia Rashad. <laughs> oh, that's a good choice. That would be like, good. That would be yes. Good. Wouldn't that be good? Like, yes. She's just so powerful in her, like, self. 
Um, something about her, I think she would make a really great villain. And like you said, a mature woman. Like I, I think these shows are so young skewing, and that's great. But I would love to see more established um, men and women on the shows. Yeah. Absolutely.